In this video, we will learn how to detect and display vertex at mouse position with Raycast at runtime in Unity. In my scene, I have a number of uh, 3D game objects with uh, simple materials attached to them. So to start, we will need to create a parent for these game objects. So right click, create empty, and we'll call it parent model. And uh, select all the game object that you want to be able to see the vertices, their vertices. So in this case, I'll select everything but the plane. I don't want to show the vertices of the plane. And I'll drag them into the parent model so that the parent model would be their parent game object. Next, create a sphere outside these objects that we will use later in the code. So right click. 3D object and then sphere and I'll just call it vertex sphere and make sure it's not a child of the parent model and I might just drag it away so we could differentiate it from the others. Next I'll create a new uh, folder under the assets we'll call it images And uh, I have in my folder explorer a PNG image of cross, but feel uh, free to have your own image of the shape or uh, the image that you want to be displayed when the mouse hover over the vertex. So I have this PNG, I'll drag it in the folder I've just created. Then I'll select the uh, PNG image and now it's a default texture. I'll just need to change that into Sp uh, sprite 2D and UI and then also the sprite mode I'll select it to be single and then uh, inside my uh, hierarchy I'll, I'll apply yes to apply and set, then inside the hierarchy right click UI game object and we'll select image Select the image and under the uh, uh, make sure that it's uh, anchored and centered to the middle. And you could reset the X and Y to be zero. And under the uh, source image, click on uh, here and start typing the uh, the name of the sprite we just created, which is snap cross. I'll select it, and that would be uh, the that part is done. Now we have an image UI object with the, uh, our PNG turned into sprite into it. While selecting the image under the uh, Raycast target, make sure to untick that option. And also uh, while selecting the image, untick the, this box so it will be invisible. The next step would be creating a new tag. So under the tag, add tag, and click the plus and we'll call it vertex sphere and we'll save. Uh, don't need to assign it to any game object for now. And now we are ready to create uh, the code. So I'll just create an empty game object to hold the code, create empty, and we'll call it display vertex and under the assets right click and create folder we'll call it scripts and inside that I'll right click to create C sharp file and we'll name it display vertex once that file is created, I'll drag it and drop it into the empty game object display vertex over here. And I'll just select it to make sure that the, the script is here and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. Inside the C sharp file, I added a number of lines. Uh, including namespaces, extra namespaces, and number of uh, variables. Uh, these two variables, this variable which is a sphere that we could copy to position in the in the position of each 
uh, of the vertices we have. And this Boolean is open. Uh, the vertices could only be traceable and visible when this is on, so later or true. So later you could link that to a function of button. So when you need the vertices to be able to be traced and visible, you set that to true, otherwise it would be false. And then uh, in the start uh, method, I uh, what what it does, uh, we have a number of variables and uh, uh, methods be called uh, just to make this sphere invisible and call the uh, populate vertex spheres and resize vertex sphere collider methods or functions. Uh, under the update method, what what we're doing here is to check if a ray cast ray from the mouse hit a sphere at the position of a vertex, uh, and then if it, that happened, it will show the cross image we imported. And then I'll have uh, the uh, method uh, called populate vertex spheres. What it does, it's uh, it's create a sphere uh, uh, at the positions of each of the vertices. And this method will need to be called every time uh, you move, rotate, or scale the 3D models in the scene. So every time the transform of the models change, we need to call this method for update. And the last method would be, uh, uh, it's uh, what it does, this block, it's resize the spheres in relation or to be proportionate to the size of the view or the scene when running the game. And this need to be called every time you zoom in and out of the view so that you will have uh, a colliding spheres that proportionate to the size of the view. So this is the code in total. This is the first section. This is the second, third, and last or fourth. So if I save the script and go back to Unity Editor, now I'll, I'll uh, select the game object that the script is attached to, and it will need the parent model. And I'll just drag the parent model into it. And then the cross image object, which is this one, I'll just drag it here. And then the vertex sphere that we have created separately, uh, which is this one, I'll select it. So I'll save and hit play. And I'll just change the resolution to full HD. And now you notice every time the mouse hover over a, a place where there is a vertex, our course will show. That's it. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.